Hi, this is Zach from Data Miner, and this is a quick video to walk you through how to download full images from web pages with Data Miner. So, as you can see, we're on the Data Miner sandbox, and we're on the search results page, and there are a few pictures in front of us for each individual profile. And what we would like to do is download the images um, from the search page. So, to do that, um, all you have to do is go to the top right corner, select the Data Miner icon and then select the recipe sandbox search. And as you can see on the very end here, we have the URL for every um, specific picture. So let's just click on the first one. And as you can see, we now opened up the image for that first profile. So now to actually download this image to our, prof uh, our computer without having to manually right click everything, we're gonna go back to the uh, data miner extension and we're gonna download this information just give it a name. And press save. And now we're actually going to go to another portion of the data miner extension. And this place is called collections. To do that, just simply go to the collections on the right here. And we're actually going to go a little bit further now. Um, the downloading images is an older feature for data miner. So we're actually going to go to the top right corner here and select switch to old version. And now that we're here, we just need to upload the information we just downloaded. So to do that, just click from CSV, select the CSV that we downloaded, the image URLs, press open. And now as you can see, we have all that same information and the image URL. So while we're looking at this, something that I need to point out is um, the, lo the actual location of this URL is very important. So for example, um, as you can see, this URL is in the first column. Well, we need the URL location from this column. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So remember that, that the image URL is in the ninth column. All right, so now to download the actual images, we're gonna have to go and create a job. So just go to the top here, hit jobs, and this is where you can select the type of job you want. So we will be doing the images job. So select that, and now you just have to fill out the fields with the appropriate information. Collection is just where the URL lives, so which file? So it is in the image URLs CSV, and then column number for URLs is that one, um, the column we counted and what I was referring to earlier, so I believe that was nine. And then column number for file names is just the column that is the <clears throat> column number for file names is just the column that will include the data that gets turned and then column number for file names is just the different names that we will name the files and any information and column 2 is what will be the file names and then download folder name is just the folder that which these images will be downloaded to Max number of items is just how many photos you'd like to download. And I think three is a good example for this. And then wait time between downloads is the amount of time that data miner will wait for a page to load to make sure that it's, um, it has all the information before it scrapes just to prevent any sort of error. So now that we have all this filled out, all we have to do is press start. And now it's gonna be going through every URL and download the image. So as you can see, we already have Steve and Alan, and it's going to go all the way till three. Let's see, so as you can see, it shows the progress, and it just finished. So now we can close that. And at this point, you just go to wherever your computer um, downloads inf downloads files. So I'm going to open up my folder, and as you can see, we have an images folder. I'm going to open that, open that a little more. Now, as you can see, we have three files, and now let's just open that up to see. Awesome, so now as you can see, we have the actual images from the website on our computer. So that is how you use DataMiner to download images. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer them. All right, thank you, goodbye.